Hello, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office, and welcome to On Scene. With hurricane season now upon us, I thought we'd take a minute to remind everyone about hurricane preparedness. To do that, let's check in with local weather expert, Kirk Weatherman. Thank you, Deputy Ivy, and you're exactly right. It's hurricane season here, and I'm fired up. Um, actually, Kirk, I'm the sheriff, but, but that's okay. Let's start out by telling our citizens what they should be doing to prepare for a storm that's just days away. Sheriff John, it's pretty simple. There's really nothing that citizens should be doing days before a storm is ease. Little tropical storms and hurricanes don't really cause any damage or problems. Uh, Kirk, uh, again, um, I'm Sheriff Ivy, and I've always heard that one of the most important steps is to plan ahead. You know, don't wait for the emergency to happen to go into action, but instead go into action right now to protect your family and home. <laughs> Andy Griffith, I know what your concerns are, but keep in mind this isn't Mayberry, and Opie and Aunt B are going to be just fine if they will just listen to me, because I can predict right where the storm is going to hit with pinpoint precision. Look at right here what I've done. Um, Kirk, I, I really don't have time to argue with you about my name, but isn't now the time that folks should be making sure that they have the right supplies to weather a storm? I mean, the experts actually recommend having supplies such as water, food, baby formula, battery-powered radio, flashlights, extra batteries, first aid kit, can openers, medications, tools, sandbags, and actually even a generator if they have one. Listen here, Sheriff Buford. Do you want to listen to the experts or me? I mean, after all, it's not like I'm not a certified meteorologist. From what I can see, looking at you, big boy, your only supply would be a box of donuts. <laughs> oh, and by the way, let me share another myth with you while I've got your attention. If there is a mandatory evacuation, it's not really that important to leave the area and take refuge in a safer place. What? Are you out of your mind? Mandatory evacuations are designed to protect our citizens and make sure they are not harmed during a storm. In fact, when an evacuation goes into place, our agency and other public safety members are doing everything we can to protect our citizens and their pets from harm. Material possessions can be replaced, but lives can't. Look here, Roscoe Pico Train. What's next? You gonna tell me how important it is for people to secure their outside items, such as lawn furniture and pets? Come on. Actually, Kirk, that's exactly what I'm gonna tell you. Anything in your yard or back patio needs to be secured, and yes, especially your pets. You can always put patio furniture in your pool or move it inside. Flagpoles, planters, awnings, and other similar items should be moved inside or anchored down in some possible way. Kirk, how about making sure your vehicles are gassed up? How sure. important is that for our citizens? Sheriff Earp, now we're starting to get on the same page. It's extremely important for citizens to gas up their vehicles so that as soon as the storm is passed through, they can go out, ride around, and check out all the great damage. Are you kidding me right now? Absolutely not. Folks, it's important to have your vehicles completely fueled, but not for that reason. Please don't go out after the storm passes and ride around. Stay at your home, assess the damage, and wait for updates and instructions from your local emergency operations center. Sheriff Buford T. Justice, probably one of the first thing that needs to be done after a storm is go outside and play in the water. Man, what a great time out there, sashaying and frillicking in the water after a storm. What, what did you just say, Sashaying? What? You, you know, sashaying and frolicking. W where did we get this guy? Okay, folks, don't listen to him, but instead, after a storm, keep in mind that there could be all sorts of environmental hazards, such as downed power lines, debris-filled streets, natural gas leaks, and even an abundance of snakes or insects. Stay inside the safety of your home and let the utility companies and public safety teams secure the area so that everyone is safe. Okay, Sheriff of Nottingham, I have to go backstage and get the latest update on the storm, so I'd recommend that our citizens check out our website at BavardSheriff.com for more information on how to protect themselves, their family, their pets, and their homes during a tropical storm or hurricane. Man, finally, a good idea from our BCSO meteorologist, Kirk Weatherman. For more information on staying safe during a tropical storm or hurricane, visit our website at brevardsheriff.com. 